In this presentation, we are going to look at probability distributions with R. In this particular example, we are going to look at the log normal distribution. The lifetime in days of a certain electronic component that operates in a high temperature environment is log normally distributed with mu equals 1.2 and sigma equals 0 0.5. Now, as the name suggests, that the log normal distribution is essentially derived or transformed for, from a normal distribution. And in this case, the normal mean and the normal variance of the untransformed distribution will be 1.2 and 0 0.5, respectively. But they are not the expected value and the variance of the log normal distribution, but they do provide a way of calculating that those those values the mean and the variance using a seed of one two three four simulate the lifetimes of ten thousand such components based on this sample answer the following questions so estimate the mean and the variance of the lifetimes of the electronic components estimate the probability that the component will work no more than four days estimate the probability that the component works more than five days and estimate the probability that the component works between three and five days. So very sort of straightforward type questions. So this is what we see when we look at the help file for, for the log normal distribution in R. So the density, the distribution function, the quantile function, and the random generation for of the log normal distribution. So we're going to use most of these. So this is the cumulative distribution function. This is the quantile function, and this is the random number generator, okay? So the L norm, obviously, is log normal, okay? The arguments are mean log, which is, in our case, mu, which is 1.2, and the SD log is the standard deviation, essentially. Uh, sigma, actually, I should say. and The default setting is 1, but our value is 0 0.5. So there I have set the seed. Actually, I don't really use any of these uh, uh, setups in this particular case to that much, but I have the seed set there to one, two, three, four. So simulate 10,000 component lifetimes. So capital N is 10,000. That's the number of simulations. Or L norm is the random number generator that is going to create 10,000 log normal observations with n is the argument there for the function and capital n is just the number we've assigned up above mean log equals 1.2 and sd log equals 0 0.5 as we were told we we're going to save them in a vector called lifetimes and we we'll just have a quick look at that head of lifetimes there we go just the first few values there and that just gives us a rough idea of what the data should look like so what we could do is have a quick look at the histogram of the lifetimes there. So hist of lifetimes breaks equals 200. I just decided to have 200 intervals there. And you can sort of see that the values are mostly between 0, let's say, and 7. And that even more so between 1 and 5, roughly. Uh, but that does taper off, and there's a long tail up to 20. Okay. Now... Uh, you notice that there are no values less than zero and it sort of is a you can sort of see the sense of the normal distribution there that you know that there is something that approximates a bell curve but it just obviously heavily skewed towards zero but you can sort of see how the connection might occur there between the log normal distribution and the normal distribution with its bell curve okay so this is what happens when you transform your uh, normal distribution with the logarithm okay that's skew okay anyway let's start off with the questions estimates based on the simulated data we want the mean and the variance and the standard deviation the mean is 3.762 that's from the sample the variance from the sample of the lifetimes is 3.92 and the standard deviation is 1.98 now, we could actually just compare this to analytical values. This is the definition of the expected value and the variance of x from the theoretical point of view, the population uh, mean and variance. It, the mean is the exponential of mu plus sigma squared over 2, 
and if we put that in we will get 3.7622 which is very close to our sample mean so close that you know that it's just almost by fluke you know we wouldn't even expect it to be that good so we're happy there the variance is a complicated little uh, expression it comprises two parts and it, anyway it works out to be 4.0197 which is not so far off 3.92 remember that sigma squared is in squared units of the underlying value so you know that's that uh, that explains why it's not so the sampling fluctuations are not so telling so we're happy enough with that just as a quick remark we can just get the medians of the lifetimes there from the sample 3.328 and we can compare this to the analytical value uh using the quantile function so ql norm 0 0.5 the median is the 50th percentile mean log equals 1.2 and sd log equals 0 0.5 okay so this is the second appearance of a uh, l norm function okay part b uh, estimate the probability that the component works no more than four days probability of x less than or equal to four so what we could do there is just run a check see how many of the lifetimes are less than four you can actually go less than or equal to four actually but it doesn't really make much of a difference and get the mean of that okay uh, using the analytical value the analytical approach using the cumulative distribution function pl norm of four mean log equals 1.2 sd log equals 0 0.5 and we find it to be 0 0.6453 again pretty pretty reasonably close uh, very happy with that uh, that the estimated value probability of the estimated probability value matches up with the expected value of that probability okay same again uh, probability of x greater than or equal to 5 so the mean of the lifetime is greater than 5 0 0.2044 and using the analytical approach using the cumulative distribution function but in this case uh, setting the lower tail equal false such that we get probability probability of x greater than or equal to 5 we get 0 0.2064 by the way just as a quick remark we're dealing with a continuous distribution so it doesn't really matter a whole lot it's very very marginal difference between that being greater than 5 or greater than or equal to 5 just a minuscule so it wouldn't even come up in rounding error okay and finally the calculate the probabilities that the component wor works between three days and five days so something i'm using here is from dplyr it's the between function so this sets out a logical vector true or false depending on whether or not the lifetimes is in that range of values so the upper and lower bound so what that function does is returns true or false and mean allows me to calculate the proportion that is true so it's 0 0.3824 using the cumulative distribution function pl norm 5 minus pl norm 3 gives me 0 0.3739 which is very close to 0 0.3824 again pretty good so that's it we leave it there